the, the theme of this section now is the new rules of business. And particularly, I want to focus on the mobile revolution, which I think will drive the next, uh, next big growth in digital media and, uh, and internet growth. But I just want to pause for a second. Next week, it is the 20th anniversary of Wired magazine. Wired magazine is now owned by Condé Nast, but it was really was when it was published in California uh, 20 years ago last week for the very first time, really was the moment at which uh, cons the, the consumer internet really started to become um, available and interesting to a wide audience, not just to consumers, but also to businesses. And I would say over the last 20 years, it's really helped us rewrite those new rules of business. So to start today, I want to just, just pause before talking about the business side of this, is to think about how it's affected consumers, not just in Russia, but around the world. But I wanted, obviously, to focus on Russia since I'm here and to start with a bit of fun. I saw a survey recently where, where Russians were asked, what would you give up? Yeah, to, if, if, you didn't want, if you didn't have the internet, what would, you, what would you give up and keep the internet? So we asked people, first of all, would you give up McDonald's? A lot of Russians were willing to give up McDonald's. I'm sure people in this room, probably 100% of people would give up McDonald's if they ever go anywhere near it. Uh, but this survey found 88% of Russians were happy to give up McDonald's. That wasn't such a big surprise. What about vodka? I thought in Russia that would be a bit of an issue, uh, but I was surprised by the number. Only 80% of Russians said they would willingly give up, I don't know about willingly, but they would give up alcohol uh, if they could still have the internet. Now it gets a bit more interesting. This is a British way of saying sex. So how many people, how many people would give up sex in Russia to, uh, if, they, if they could have the internet? A lower number, you would expect that. 15%. <laughs> and now it gets even more worrying. What about washing, showering? Surely people wouldn't want to stop, uh, to stop showering uh, for the internet. I'm afraid so. 14% of people, of Russians, uh, claim that they would, uh, they, would, they would be willing to give up showering uh, to, uh, to keep the internet. I think it shows just how profound the change has been in just 20 years in the way in which, not just in Russia, but globally, the internet has become such a core part of people's lives.